What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome back to our 2023 Holiday Buyer's Guide series. Today we are talking rod and reel combos for $200. <music> Today, we're seeing huge advancements. We're jumping up to that $200 rod and reel. We're calling them combos, but these aren't actually combos. A rod and a reel that add up to 200 ish dollars. Some of them make it, some of them break the budget a little bit. But when you make that jump up, now we're talking essentially across the board. You're talking full lines of rods. So a guy can dabble in multiple brands or a guy can say you know what i like this series of rods and you could get everything you need out of one line uh, that's really what happens when we get to this price point yeah you hit the nail on the head it, as you jump up into that i don't know why it's always that hundred dollar price point it seems once you get to that hundred dollar price point or above the quality just goes through the roof and uh the brands just they they have lines and lines of rods where you can get a whole line of rods with all your technique specific yep. uh, rods and keep everything the same. It's it's a it's a really neat price point. It's it was it wasn't too long ago where uh, these rods weren't available, these lines weren't available, and it seems like there's a lot of competition at this price point, and uh, that's just a benefit for you and I as anglers. You know, all those higher end technologies are, are dropping down into these rods. So you want to kick it off? Yeah, as we're moving up in price points, you're going to see that we're going wider, more options, because there are more brands with more models that really knock it out of the park. You want to hand me yeah. one? We'll get it going. Yeah, with that said, too, we this this video, this buyer's guide today is going to line up with the sale at Tackle Warehouse. Yes. So even though the retail price point might be a little bit higher than $200, we kind of factored in the sale. So understand that it's gonna be a little bit cheaper with the sale, but yeah. Yeah, the rods themselves are on sale. That's why we held uh, these rod and reel combo videos to the end of the series this year. So to kick it off, this is the Shimano SLX line of rods, true workhorse rods. And when we talk full line, I mean, we are talking full line. There are a ton of models paired up to the Shimano Noski. The Noski itself, an absolute workhorse spinning reel at a hundred bucks. Uh, this is in Shimano's power line of reels. So if you're not familiar, Shimano has two lines of spinning reels. One is geared towards finesse, one is geared towards power. The Noski is in that power line. I mean, you're talking bulletproof combo that will last for the foreseeable future. They are solid independently and they are solid paired together. Thank you. Yep. Next up, I got the Cashin Element Series. This is a new line of rods by Cashin Rods. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with Cashin, they've been around for a long time. They make a lot of great rods. This is their first attempt at like a price point line of rods. One huge selling point, they're made in the USA. So if that's a big factor for you, they're made in the USA. Great company. Uh, paired that up with the Daiwa Legalis. Again, it's an ultra smooth reel. It feels like it should be higher price point. Um, this is an awesome finesse fishing combo. Fairly light, smooth reel, back on the rods. You know, if you if you are familiar with Cashin, you know this is probably their first really attempt at, at cork. Like cork. Uh, really nice cork. This, this rod feels like it should be a higher price point, but excited about that whole element line of rods. Now those first two, those truly, even without a sale, they fit the price point. Now these next two, we're stepping just a little ways out of the price point, but the sale will help with that. But the biggest difference you're going to see with both of these is a huge increase in warranty. These are both five, five year, year, right? Five year, yep. So this is from Halo Fishing. This is the XD3 Pro. This line of rods, the word that comes to mind to me is overbuilt. They are, again, workhorses. Uh, when I pick these up, I'm not picturing my Ned Rig rod. I'm picturing my Senko rod, Texas my Shaky rod, Head yeah. rod, Texas Rig rod. Exactly. Seven foot medium, just an all out 
workhorse paired up to a Daiwa Fuego. Uh, you've got just a solid, solid combo. Again, small step up in price, but that raw jumps to a five-year warranty, uh, and you just got another bulletproof workhorse. Next up for me is going to be the St. Croix Bass X. This is a completely redesigned line, uh, five-year warranty, right? Yep. Like we talked about. You're getting quality, you're getting durability. We've talked about that in the last couple of videos. Durability, you're getting sensitivity. This is a 610 medium light. Uh, this is a true finesse rod. You could, I could fish this rod right now with some of my other high-end rods and not feel like I'm missing a beat. Paired that up with the, that's the Miravel, Shimano Miravel. This is in the finesse line, so it's real smooth, buttery smooth quite a bit lighter than that uh the noski that matt recommended in that power line but this is an awesome lightweight uh combo and then obviously the bass x has a ton of lines i think there's three three models in the in the spinning and a lot in the casting which we're gonna get to here shortly all right with that we're keeping spinning simple you know you've got a couple that make the price point and a couple that jump out depends on if you're leaning more towards power more towards finesse let me get that one from you Switching over to casting, again, these first couple, true, right at the price point. You're talking a $200, $100 rod, $100 reel, staying right on budget. This is the Dobbins Maverick series. It was new a couple of years ago. The Maverick, here's the funny thing about Dobbins. We fished the very first generation of Dobbins that ever came out. And I don't even want to tell you how long ago that was. It was a long time ago. They were nice at the time. Those rods were nice. But these, at 100 bucks, blow those out of the water. That's how far technology has come in just the last, well, it's more than 10 years. But recently, <laughs> it's come that, I don't want to say it, but it's it, seriously, it's come that far to where a $100 budget-friendly rod is blowing away the high-end rods of not very long ago. Uh, that Maverick at 100 bucks is a great grab paired to the Lose Speed Spool LFS. This is a Tackle Warehouse bestseller every year. Super reliable, super durable. We keep saying durable, durable. Yep. right? But that is so important. When you spend a little more money, you're looking for a couple of things. You're looking for increased sensitivity. You're looking for more options, more models, and you're looking for durability. You want that thing to last. That's what makes it worth taking that jump. And this fits in that category. Yeah, Matt talked about it. Durability, longevity, sensitivity, and multiple models. SLX paired up with an SLX, matchy matchy. Uh, you know, Shimano <laughs> killed it with this this combo. As far as the reel, they added silent tune last year and didn't increase the price. Anytime you're increasing or adding uh features and not increase increasing the price is a win in my in my book but the slx like matt talked about a ton of lines you know those some of those actions trickle down and you know from the x x pride line but uh, the slx you can get multiple models paired up with your favorite slx reel and you're set for a very long time yeah i mean you're talking our favorite jerk bait rod mm -hmm. right 610 medium in the x pride that trickles down to slx you can get that rod in slx at 100 bucks and, Amazing. And going up the line, we're going to talk about it here shortly, you can get true swim bait rods as well. Yep. All right, next one up, Daiwa, the Tatula XT. Again, right at that $100 mark. They are super light, very, very comfortable to fish with. EVA foam grips, split grip, but very comfortable rods with a bunch of options. Now, we... This is where we start leaving the price point a little bit. We went to the Fuego, and the Fuego is going to jump it up a few bucks. The Fuego, it's a workhorse reel, but I'll tell you what, one thing stands out about the Fuego to me. Even though it's a workhorse, even though it's durable, it's great at casting light baits. Uh, I have a Fuego on one of my cranking setups, and I'm shocked throwing into the wind, that thing will throw little baits so consistently so that's why the little bit of a jump up that's why i opted to go to that fuego there's a noticeable difference with that extra step next up for me is going to be the bass x line 
uh, casting rods by St. Croix. We already talked about it in spinning. Uh, several models. Again, they redesigned this rod last year. Uh, ton of models paired up with, well, and the five-year warranty. Can't forget that. There that's, is that. That's huge. But then paired up with a 13 fishing. This is the Modus C2. Now, the rod itself, this is the seven foot four heavy. It's one of our favorite actions in this lineup. You can truly frog on this combination. Straight braid, 18 pounds of drag. You can lock this drag down. That's what sets it, sets this reel apart and why it made the list. You can lock this drag down and truly frog fish on a, on a combo that doesn't break the bank. Again, Bass X has a ton of uh, rods in the line, but this is one of our standouts. And with all of these, in the video description, the whole idea of the buyer's guide is to help you guys. So in the description below this video, whether you're watching on tacticalbassin.com, where you'll see the description immediately as soon as you scroll down, or you're on Facebook or YouTube, where you might need to click the three little dots, scroll down, click the dots again. You might have to click more, scroll down, click more again to open the whole description. But no matter where you're seeing this video, below the video is a full description where we're linking all of this in the order that we talk about them to help you find them the links go straight to tackle warehouse it's also for your loved ones we're headed right into christmas you can still get this stuff in time we've <laughs> been holding this so that you would get the savings on the rod sale but you can still get them in time for christmas so we'll link all those what triggered that was you saying that was one of our favorite models we'll link our favorite models in every single one of these lines for you uh, to help you just so you have a baseline so you know what the standouts are to us in each one of those lines now last one here before we switch over to swim bait rods we went a little bit different direction on this one we get asked a lot if you're going to spend more should you spend it on the rod or the reel and and frankly i go back and forth it depends on what you're doing with it but typically the jump is in the rod that's where you're going to see the increase in sensitivity. Now, power fishing, I go with the reel because you get into an MGL spool, you can send that thing, right? But most of the time, you're going to put the money into the rod to up that sensitivity and just take your fishing to the next level. In order to stay in the ballpark of the price range here, <laughs> we tried. We dropped down to the chaos. So from an SLX, we went down 20 bucks or so back to the chaos but still i mean you know from yesterday's video a phenomenal full featured reel built in shimano's factory they're awesome but that saved us a few bucks that allowed us to jump up from slx to intenza intenza is a whole nother ball game sensitivity goes up you have some unique models one of uh, my personal overall favorite cranking models like when we travel when we go out of country and you're just taking that one rod that's got to cover all your crankbaits it's that seven six medium heavy glass uh intenza has some amazing models in it and a noticeable difference in sensitivity so again a few bucks more but we're offsetting most of that by going back one in the reel and that's how we pull that off i'll finish it off with this one yeah let's let's do it uh, just couple swim bait rods, one reel. This is the price point where you jump over and now you actually have reel options in the swim bait world, right? So we grabbed two for you. One from 13 Fishing, the Defy Black, eight foot heavy. This is a true soft bait rod. I mean, we're talking, you can grab an eight inch Huddleston, straight jig hook and send that thing at roughly a hundred bucks. It's a few bucks over that, but Roughly a hundred bucks. I mean, we're talking a dedicated, real soft bait swim bait rod. And then the other one, Shimano in that SLX line. We talk about how many models there are in SLX. It's crazy. The standout for me in that guy is the 7.8 Heavy. This swim bait rod is legit. I mean, this isn't just a budget friendly swim bait rod. This is a swim bait rod that I grab budget friendly or not and go fishing with. We've tangled with giants on this model many times, largemouth and striper. Uh, it's phenomenal. There's some crossover there. You can throw some of your uh, hard bait rods or your hard baits on that rod, 
uh, but it's fantastic for soft baits as well. And then one of the biggest questions we get surrounding swim baits is what is a budget reel? And there are not a lot of options, but the best that I've been able to find is that Shimano Cardiff. Uh, the Cardiff, so full round reel. You have to get used to round reels. If you're coming out of low profile bait casters, it'll take a little bit of adjustment to learn to palm a round reel, but you adapt very quickly. We've thrown them for decades. Yeah, a long time. Uh, all of the original swim bait reels, 100% of them were all round reels. That's how anybody who's been swim baiting for a long time, they all threw round reels. But that Cardiff, huge step down in price from some of the, the big boy players right. in the swim bait world, right? But a fantastic reel. It's got enough drag, it's durable, it's reliable. The only thing I see, because a Cardiff, I mean, you're like just over a hundred bucks compared to some of these reels are three, four, five, six, seven hundred bucks. The only thing I've noticed through the years of beating a Cardiff to death is that after you've just throttled that thing for a few years, you'll start to feel a little bit in the gears. But durability wise, function never goes away. You can throw a Cardiff for a decade. You're never going to have that issue. You'll just slowly over time, that smoothness will start to fade. And that is why tomorrow we're jumping up in price point, working our way up to those ultra high end combos. When you start talking about jumping up to three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars in a swim bait reel, you're going to see some real changes. But on the budget end, this thing is fantastic. Yeah, guys, all I can say is going through this lineup, as I pick up each of these rods to talk about them, I'm still impressed. I'm like, wow, that feels really good. These rods, these reels, these combos are gear that we use all the time, and we put them through the ring, we put them through the test, and they feel really, really good. And that, that matters a lot, right? You want to, when you're picking up a rod that you want to have, you want to go fishing with, you want it to be comfortable, you want it to be light in the hand, you want it to be sensitive, you want it to last, be strong enough to throw, you know, the right, the correct bait. So this lineup right here is, uh, they're all winners, depending on the different techniques you want. If you want to go straight swim bait or have a whole line of rods, uh, these guys get the job done. They do. Guys, with that, we're going to wrap up $200 combos. We will see you again tomorrow. We're talking $300 combos, and then we just keep right on every single day working our way to that super high-end gear. We hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.